Tehuan. Also known as the city of hospitality. Almost 15 million people live here, plus thousands of tourists. That's a lot of stomach to feed, but there is no shortage of food. It's everywhere, on every street corner. The city never sleeps. Taiwan is a mega city with much diversity, from ethnicities to nationalities. Although Iranians traditionally prefer to stay at home and have food with other members of the family, the high speed of modern life has made the streets their second home. Of course, it's not just about work. Most of these people come out and choose street food to enjoy. Iranian food has for long been famous throughout the world. Iranians love their food. Traditional or modern, Iranian or Western, Iran's capital caters to all needs and tastes. I started from downtown Tehuan, a market which despite being old still has new customers. How often do you come here? Uh, once in a month. So why? Uh, because I uh, like the taste, it's a good taste and I think it's delicious. Since I myself didn't know much about the nutrition values of such street foods, we asked Maryam Jawahiri, a nutritionist who is also a member of Iran's Nutrition Association, to show us around the city and tell us how much valuable the Iranian street food is. Since we had been stuck in a traffic jam before meeting each other, my stomach began ringing the lunch bell. We decided to start from a famous shop in central Tehuan which offers lamb liver. It tastes uh, buttery and salty with uh, barbecue flavor. If you have it with uh, some yogurt drink and um, some green vegetables, it makes a perfect meal. Does it have any nutrition values? Of course. Um, liver is the greatest one of source of iron. And um, it's uh, very good. Also, uh, liver is uh, a good source of protein. If we want to classify this uh, kind of protein, we can classify it into HPV groups, high bioavailability groups. It means that uh, the protein that we gain, that we take from a liver, um, absorb very good very, with high random in um, body and make muscles. Now have some iron then. Okay, sure. As the sun set and the weather got cold, Mariam Jawahiri took me to a place where usually hot soups are served, especially in the winter. Uh, in Farsi, we call it Asharishte, and um, you can say it's a noodle soup. A noodle soup? Yes. So, uh, what are its ingredients? Um, just uh, vegetables, legumes and uh, noodles, but the combination of them are very delicious, it's worse to taste. Yeah, I know I should rush them. 
This is one of the most popular street foods here in Iran. That's why I know the, the name. So, what's it good for? Uh, you know that uh, foods that are high in carbohydrates, like noodle, as we see in this food, um, are uh, can you calm down and cheer you um, up? And uh, this is because of serotonin. And the serotonin, uh, because of the carbohydrate. Uh, in fact, carbohydrate uh, release uh, carbohydrate um, cause the brain release to a chemical we call it serotonin. And uh, another good point of it, uh, it's because of vegetables and uh, because vegetables prevent constipation and uh, we know that constipation causes uh, some chronic cancer like uh, colon cancer and so it is very good for preventing these cancers that is very common in, in the world. On the way back home, I saw a bunch of boys having another street food. That's hot broad bean. Today I learned a lot about Taiwan street food. I found out Iwanians are very much proud of their food so as they are proud of their rich history and civilization. Soma Kujuri, reporting for you.